Neptune is a city that's all about bagels. They hold an annual bagel fest, and they are also home to Linder's Bagels. Yeah, the production facility not only puts people to work, but it also feeds breakfast lovers across the nation. See, I Living's Ryan Burke paid them a visit in this installment of Made in Illinois. How cool is that? It really is cool. And you know, what I found even more cool is the fact that they actually turn out more than two million of these guys a day. I'm that glad you could bring us back five. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. a lot of bagels. I could they they would have had needed a should, semi to bring them all in. The lady with the Kate Spade. So <laughs> don't feel bad. Ryan. Definitely. Well, you know, and to put that in perspective, in less than a week, they make enough bagels to feed every single person in Illinois. More than 12 million. It's one of the reasons they're made in Illinois. While the thousands of bags that roll through the Lenders Bagel Factory each and every day show off the New York City skyline, many don't know that this East Coast street isn't made in Manhattan, but instead in Mattoon. Uh, we go through approximately uh, five trucks of flour, five semi-trucks of flour every day. And while they may be made in a small town, this operation is the size of the Big Apple. Once you start these lines up, that you can't shut them down. So once they're running, they're running. Full bore all the time. Jeff Swearingen is a man who knows his bagels. He's been running this operation for more than 20 years, and he's definitely seen things grow. Back in like 1983 is when the first bagel line came in, in with Kraft. Uh, they put this line one here. They put that in, and um, bagels were a huge success back then, so they added another line. So how do these two bagel lines put out millions of these round doughy treats a week? Well, going from dough to package is quite a process, and it all starts with the raw ingredients. This is our mixing process. We process about uh, one dough about every nine minutes. Um, the doughs weigh about 1,800 pounds. Right now, they'll take the temperature of the dough, make sure it's at the right temperature, and then we'll send it up the incline belt to the dividers. They're, they're loading up the mixer for the next batch with all the ingredients that go into that product. From there, these soon-to-be breakfast treats are on the conveyor belt, where they're portioned, weighed, and formed into their famous round shape. At the bagel machines, we actually form the product. We do not stamp these bagels out. So by forming them, it, it looks like it's made by hand. Then these round balls of dough are off to rise. So we put the bagels on a tray, and we send them through the proofer for approximately 38 to 40 minutes. Now that they're starting to look like real bagels, things are about to warm up. One of the things that makes bagel production unique from other baked goods is the fact that it really has to be cooked twice. It first has to be boiled, like what you see behind me here, and then it has to go into a giant oven. We boil our bagels to give it the chewy texture of a Linder's product. Uh, these are being boiled for about 45 seconds. Then it's off to the regular oven, where each one can bake off more than a million a day. After they come out, uh, we send it through an inspection system that'll grade the product. Um, anything that's out of spec, we reject. Um, we also go into a spiral cooler for about 30 minutes. We cool that product down because in the next process, we got a slice. After being sliced, it's off to the bagging area where they're tied up and shipped out to hungry families all across the nation. For Swearingen and the staff at Lenders, whenever a box ships out, they know they're sending out more than just bagels. They're also sending with it some hometown pride. Seeing that product in the store when you walk onto the shelf and, and uh, you know you know that that product was manufactured right here in Mattoon. Uh, even when you're traveling, I'll still go to the stores and, and look for Lenders product at their stores. Proud to be keeping this iconic New York bakery favorite made in Illinois. Every time I see that, I want breakfast for dinner. I think I'm going to have to go home and do that tonight. Now, the Bagel Factory there runs three shifts a day from their Mattoon facility. They say that many of their employees have actually been there more than 20 years. Definitely something that shows the pride they have in their bagels. Oh, my word. Now, when I go to the store and I'm shopping bagels, 
Yeah, I'll yes, make a better choice. Don't let the Statue of Liberty on the thing fool you. It's, there we go. Yeah. It needs the Mattoon Water Tower or something. You that know? is so cool. So which ones did you did you get to try any when you were at the factory? You know, I tried one of the blueberry ones, and it's funny because it had That's come. That's fresh. It, it was literally, it was, <laughs> I took it right out. It was so hot I could barely hold on oh, to sure. it. So oh, sure. It was very, very good. Has your bag stopped smelling like blueberry bagels? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Our camera smelled like bagels for a while. <laughs> Worst yeah. thing. There's worse smells. There are. Exactly. <laughs> if you have a story idea for Ryan, drop him a note on Facebook, Twitter, or email. He'd love to share your story.